Hello again, YouTube. This is a Woman's World 123. I just opened another box of precious metals from Provident, and I just wanted to share with you guys an update of my gold and silver collection. New to my collection are the two PAPs. These are gold bars. This is a 5 gram gold bar, a 2.5 gram gold bar, and I also ordered another coin, gold coin. This is a one um, tenth of an ounce gold coin which is considerably larger than the one gram gold coin that I ordered before but um, anyway also I received some a few other uh, silver pieces I ordered the uh, one ounce Canadian as well as a one ounce Philharmonic and Silver Eagle with that order I also placed and, and received three walking liberties which are half ounce um, silver uh, coins on as you can see on this one it has a five dollar value which means that it will never be any less than that of course it costs more than that but it will never be worth anything less than that five dollars that's printing printed on that um, anyway so as you can see my my gold and silver collection is growing and and I am happy and and I love gawking over it it's less than some but more than most so but anyway, the reason I started investing in precious metals is because it's a good barter and trade option and a way to save money. Another reason I'm investing in precious metals is because paper money is not really money at all. It's currency, which is, you know, a promissory note from our government that we can exchange the paper money for goods and services. However, with the value of the dollar going down, this $50 bill may be worth as much as this funny money that I drew up. It's a $100 bill to me, but it's useless and worth less than the paper that I drew it on. Currently, this money right here is usable, but because our country is in so much debt, we keep printing these bills like crazy, which drives the price of our dollar down. And the more we, we print, the less that is worth. Therefore, investing in precious metals and um, gold and silver, I also, I, there are some that I don't have here, which are rhodium and palladium and platinum, but investing in metals um, that retain their value is important. There are some YouTubers out there that will disagree and, and, and say that you should save your money and spend it on guns, food, gas, water, ammo, usable things that you can you can actually obtain right now. But the truth of it is is these things are uh, these things are good to have, but later on when these things are not readily available and people that have been hoarding them are are hiding them away and when they come around to barter and trade with you and you don't have anything to barter and trade with or anything usable that they need, then honestly, all of that saving that you did is useless. So I say that, you know, I tend to disagree with them and say that buy a few pieces, a few small pieces, just in case the crap does hit the fan and you need a way to barter and trade and, and get some of those things that you may not have readily available right now. Gold and silver, the price seems to be going up the more the dollar bill goes down and, um, this honestly is not enough, but it will be enough to save my life if I if I actually need it to to save my life and barter with someone for a bag of rice or a jug of water or anything of that nature. So I mean, think about that. And you guys, if you have any questions, concerns or anything you want to say, let me know. Thanks for viewing A Woman's World Out.